Hi, in this video I'm going to be talking about dental and oral or other mouth problems that we see with cancer treatment. I'm going to cover what kind of problems can arise, how you can prevent them, and how you can manage them, and what kind of doctors or other care providers you might see. So I'm going to start with chemotherapy. With chemotherapy, we do see problems with uh, your dental health and your oral health. What I recommend to all of my patients is that before you start chemotherapy, you see your dentist for a dental checkup and a cleaning. Some people haven't had a dental cleaning in two years. And what you don't want to be doing is having a dental cleaning while you're going through chemotherapy. The three to six months that you're getting treated is when your immune system is suppressed and a dental cleaning surprisingly actually introduces a lot of bacteria into your bloodstream. So of course if you need to have a dental procedure, don't, don't put it off. If you have an abscess, get it taken care of. But you don't want to be having routine dental cleaning during chemotherapy. So what if your chemo is tomorrow? What do you do? Well, surprisingly, your dentist will be extremely appreciative if you call up and say, my oncologist or somebody I watched on Yerba recommended a dental cleaning. They will get you in. They have emergency spots for root canals and all kinds of dental emergencies. They'll give you one of those for a dental cleaning. Now, they wouldn't give me one if I just put it off right away, but you're going through special circumstances and you want to have your teeth looked at. If you have any dental problems like an abscess, chemotherapy should be delayed until that's taken care of. It doesn't need to be delayed for a long time, but long enough to make chemotherapy safe. So that's number one. Number two is that during chemotherapy and some other cancer treatments I'll talk about in just a minute, our mouth can change. We get uh, disruptions of our normal flora, bacteria and fungus in the mouth. And when you're given chemotherapy, corticosteroids or steroids are part of that to prevent you from having an allergic reaction for some chemo drugs and to have nausea. And people can develop dry mouth and if it's very severe, you will get a very dry mouth and your doctor looking in the mouth will see something called thrush. It's just a yeast infection of the mouth. It's very treatable, but that can give you a bad taste and a dry mouth and make it hard for you to talk. So it's important if you have symptoms like that to make sure somebody on your medical team looks in your mouth before you start chemotherapy that day and you don't have to hold off on chemo, but you'll get either an oral rinse or if it's really bad, if you're a diabetic, for example, and prone to yeast infections, you might get an oral antifungal agent. Very few side effects, very safe, but important. The other thing is that food can taste different. We've had people commenting on our other videos that food doesn't taste good. What I recommend is that you eat what does taste good to you. What I found is that a lot of people like not red meat anymore, but fish and putting citrus can really help, even in your water. Water can taste like metal when you're going through chemotherapy. Put in an orange or a lemon or lime, grapefruit, something to make it taste a little more sour and that can help with the taste. Now we've talked about chemotherapy. I'd like to talk about endocrine therapy or hormonal therapy. We know that we see serious changes in oral health or dental health in people on aromatase inhibitors. There are investigators studying this, but it's really important that you get regular dental care when you're on especially the aromatase inhibitors if your tumor is positive for the hormone receptors, estrogen and progesterone receptors. The bisphosphonates are bone modifying agents, which we'll see people having a lot more often, can also rarely cause serious dental problems. Before I start bisphosphonates in my patients, I have my patients see their dentist. There's a very rare side effect called osteonecrosis of the jaw, and seeing your dentist before you start these medications can make sure that these medications are safe for you, and while you're on them, make sure that they continue to be safe for you. 
We also see oral problems at the time of surgery if a tooth is damaged when you go under general anesthesia. So that's not common, but it can happen. And if you get radiation therapy to the mouth or jaw or to the salivary glands, if there's cancer involvement, whether it's breast or other cancer, for head and neck cancer, for example, it's important to make sure that your oral health is looked after. Now, what do you do if you have side effects? Well, I recommend that you take impeccable care of your mouth. We should all do it anyway. We should all floss at least once a day and brush twice a day. It's really important during treatment when you're at risk for any of these problems to take really good care of your teeth. Honor your teeth. Without our teeth, it's hard to chew. It really impacts quality of life. And so it's awfully important to take really good care of your mouth. If you have problems with your gums like gingivitis, you'll want to get some additional instructions on how to take care of your teeth from your dentist or your medical team. If your mouth is dry and you want to use a mouthwash, we recommend using a non-alcoholic mouthwash that just dries your mouth out more. And you may want to actually use a special mouthwash for people with dry mouth. So I've covered a lot. I do want to add that if you don't have dental insurance, you may be able to find dental clinics that have care in the community. Just reach out to the, your medical team, reach out to medical dental schools. They will often have uh, clinics for people with no insurance. And you can also reach out to your health department because taking care of your mouth is part of taking care of all of you. I think we underestimate our oral health till we have a problem. So hope this has been helpful, covered a lot. If it was helpful to you, click like and also subscribe below. What that does is it helps other people with the same kind of questions you have find this channel in these videos. If you want to learn more about your treatment and treatment options, go to yerba.com.